always a comparison with what um, other films are out. And this year, there's a, the, the number of films that are out are very little in, from Hong Kong. So I was very confident that we're going to get a lot of nominations. But winning the awards was a big surprise for me. Even though I'm from Hong Kong, a lot of the, I'm a producer, my custom designer are from Hong Kong, but a lot, a lot of the other parties in the film, my actors, my cinematographer, they're all from either Taiwan or from main mainland. And the subject matter of my, my film is all based in mainland China. So it's more, it, it, it can be viewed more as a, a main, mainland film. Because there is this, um, this sentiment right now that's among not just Hong Kong filmmakers, I mean, it's just in Hong Kong in general, that they want to support local Hong Kong act or tells a very unique local Hong Kong story instead of production that's, that's mainly more deal, that deals with mainland China issues. So I was not very confident in getting the, the actual awards. Well, I think in terms of capturing how the characters go through when they're going through bullying, I think that's universal. But there are things that are very local. We did a lot of research to make sure that People from China, when they watch the film, they would think that, oh, this really speaks to my experience. So we talked to a lot of people from China that have been through it. And we spoke to a lot of teachers as well. And uh, people are involved in the whole educational system. And from the beginning, what I wanted to do with the film was to ask a question of why people bullied. But after we've done a lot of research, it really got to a point where I, I, we, we thought that you know it's impossible to answer the question because it's always been there. It's part of our human nature. It's more it's more of like a philosophical question. So we 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 we've, we've thought that you know instead of trying to answer this question, we will just provide you know the audience with a taste of wh why this would happen, the environment where this could happen. My dad actually was quite consciously trying to keep me away from sort of so-called limelight. So I didn't really see a lot of industry people when I grew up. It's only after I graduated from university that I, when I got back to Hong Kong that I really start to be conscious of you know, how famous my dad is. You know, I've always told myself when I was younger that you know, my, I, my dad has nothing to do with me wanting to be in the industry. But now that you know, I'm older, that I look back, I think subconsciously I've always you know, influenced me. Because it's always it's because of him that I was more uh, sensitive to 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 uh, movies, cinemas. But my taste in him were, were like we couldn't be more different. Like he he's really into you know uh, commercial films, um, comedies, you know films that make people laugh. And I was really into art house cinema. That's how I my my whole education, my whole um, my whole introduction to cinema really began. It's through Wong Kar Wai's film. You know, I learned that he was influenced a lot by French New Wave directors in, from the 60s. I started, you know, watching their films. And then from their films, I started watching a lot of different European films. And that's how my perception of cinema, you know, began. I think he was quite worried about me, like maybe seven or eight years ago, that, you know, isn't, he, he knows that I'm really into the art house, scene and he is just concerned that you know I'm not going to be able to make a living but after my my film soulmate I think he was quite you know um, uh, he's quite relieved that you know I'm sort of heading into a you know right direction I don't really set goals where oh I have to be to cons I have to I have to get an award from cons or I have to go to like you know all of a list film festival like I want to but it's not really my goal or my I don't set a goal like that. I just hope that I can continue on making films until I'm too old to do so. I think the most important is to be true to yourself and make a film that you are personally happy with, satisfied with. I think that's most important. 